Have you ever wondered what is the sky blue? It seems like an easy question to answer. And actually it is, but not all of us know the answer. Some people say that's because it reflects the ocean's color. So please, if you're one of them, keep watching. This is for you. Hi, I'm Samia, and in this video, I will explain to you what is the sky blue. Let's start first with the white light. As we know, the white light is a mixture of seven primary colors, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And this was proved by the famous experiments done by Isaac Newton of Leibende. But wait a minute. Isaac used a piece of glass to prove this. What about us? Do you have a piece of glass surrounding the earth that builds this light? No, of course we don't. But what we have is a layer called the atmosphere. This one is composed mostly of gases, dust particles, water droplets, and water vapor. Among the gases, nitrogen forms 78%, oxygen 21%, and the rest 1% represents a lot of gases, such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and other ones. It plays the same role as the piece of glass in Newton's experiments. Okay, but why the blue color? For example, not the red one. Actually, each colored light has a corresponding frequency and wavelength associated with it. The red colored light has the longest wavelength of all, while the violet one has the shortest. And as scientist John William really proved, that the colored light which has the shortest wavelength will be scattered the most. But if you're focusing, you ask me then, why isn't it violet or indigo? Yes, you're right, it should be. But the following graph will explain to us why. As you can see, the sun emits more blue light compared to the violet one. And as a consequence, the blue light will be scattered the most. Let's do a quick experiment. Here's a quick experiment that everyone can do it at home. All you need is an aquarium with water, some milk, and a flashlight at the sun's light. Now we're going to add a little bit of milk to the water and we're going to consider it as the atmosphere. As you can see, the color turned up into blue one. This was the first reason. The second one is that our eyes are more sensitive to blue light compared to the violet one. Because as we know, the sensory receptors in our eyes are divided into three types, green, red, and blue. You might be asking a lot of questions, such as, why does the sky look orange at the sunrise and sunset? I think it's enough for today. Let's leave this for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.